Right then, let's have a look at the allotment. Now on the 29th of July. And as you can see, the wall of beans has become a wall of beans. And here we have some courgettes growing. Another couple there, probably ready to pick. There we go, we've got a tomato plants here, which are not quite as big as the ones at home, which you'll see a bit later on another video. Um, but getting there. And we've got some little tomatoes on there somewhere. See if we can find some. Yeah, there we go. Some little tomatoes. What's going on here? The blueberries are doing quite well this year. They'll blow up some time soon, I think. There we go. The spinach at the front, which I'm going to pick some more today. And uh, the pumpkins, which are doing amazing. As you can see, the wall of beans there. Which is uh, reaching out, trying to grab onto other things. We've got some peas here. These are the second lot of peas which, which are growing up. Which I can pick some of them today by the looks of it. The beans at the back are runner beans. They go all the way round there to the back. We've got some dwarf French beans which are in here, which will be ready to pick soon. Yeah, I can see some in there now. And gone, I'm going to get one out there and just pick it. There's one of them. That's one I've just picked now. I can just go down here for a second. Uh, some more peas there. These are French beans here, so we're going to have tons of French beans here as well. Um, we look at the pumpkin down here, and as you can see, compared to the size of my hand, it's going on quite quite nicely. Um, the broad beans are pretty much done now, but we've still got a few on there ready to pick. Um, this is some more peas that are coming up there. I planted them literally about three days ago, and as you can see they're all coming up. Some more French beans here, as you can see there. Mears-esque construction what I built yesterday out of uh, hazel twigs and the broccoli is looking great the reason I've done this is to stop the butterflies from laying their eggs all over it but when I got in this morning there was a butterfly got in there was a little tiny hole which the butterflies managed to find which I've stitched up at the back which I'll show you now what I've stitched up Back around here. Yeah, there's a little hole just along there. Which that was a double. I put the other uh, netting at the back to, uh, to add double protection, but they managed to find the way through because they're clever little things. These butterflies, especially if they want to lay their eggs on uh, some lovely broccoli, which is growing fab. Um, the courgette here, ready to pick. Wow, there's a big massive one there. I used the day. This courgette was just a tiny thing, so these two are ready to pick today. Um, another little pumpkin here growing, as you can see, and that's stretching into the potatoes, which are doing really well. Some more pumpkins over here. These are the male flowers, which you take off and pollinate the female flowers, and I don't think there's any female flowers that need pollinating at the moment. Pumpkins are stretching over here and we've got some another couple of little pumpkins there stretching off into the wilderness. There's another pumpkin here. As you can see it's uh, I'm probably going to have to shift that somehow so it's got room to grow. Put up more of these bastard things here. See if there's any more pumpkins on here. Some little tiny pumpkins growing along there. A couple there as well. And that's growing off into uh, this part of the allotment, which I'm going to be uh, regenerating next year. Um, back round to here. These are Jane's uh, beetroot and Jane's parsnips. 
this is what happens, see that pumpkin there, that didn't get um, pollinated. So it's gone really big at the bottom and quite narrow at the back. But there's another courgette there ready to pick and another two or three more courgettes there ready on that side. They've got to be ready in the next couple of days. Um, I planted some more peas here but they've not come up yet. Um, here's the beetroots what I left in. I'm just going to leave them until they uh, get a bit bigger. You can see the little beetroots there. That one's not too bad. Um, the spuds will be ready probably in about two or three weeks. I'll probably dig them up. Um, the apples are looking good on the apple trees. They're looking okay. Let's see some more broad beans there. Back to the tomatoes, another little tomato there growing there. Let's see if we can get around the back of the wall of beans. As we can see, there's a little. Yeah, we've got some beans on here already. We're going to have tons and tons and tons of beans. Here are all the blackberries. So there's going to be tons of blackberries this year. I'm going to have to get rid of that because it's going to decapitate me if I'm not careful. I do do a little bit of weeding behind here as well today. As you can see all the beans around here, these are the beans, the seeds from the beans last year. The, the, the beans, these are the bean seeds what we, what I grew and these are the the runner beans what are safe from last year. As you can see little bees on there having a little bit of a buzz around and pollinating them. Whee, good old bees. Um, as you say I did, I uh, created my wall of beans, my little strawberries down here which uh, I've picked a few of them and eaten, and eaten them. Um, I'm back round, back round here, and uh, you can see some little, uh, little French beans on here ready to be picking in uh, the next couple of days or so. The onions, what I left here, and the shallots, still a few of them left. But uh, hopefully, this uh, lovely device will keep the butterflies out of there. And uh, that's the comfrey, which I'm just going to go around here and show you the bucket of comfrey juice which thinks the high heaven yeah I'm going to be sieving that out soon and uh, that's going to help my plants grow into giant things because everybody knows how I like to grow giant plants this is the asparagus, this is what ends up with the asparagus a giant asparagus as well, I've been watering that for Jane when it's not been raining, it rained last night as you can probably tell, everything's a bit damp and uh, that's pretty much it just done that today use one of the hazel sticks to uh, extend the growth of the uh, french beans there and all these comfries that were cut down have all grown back up so I'm gonna, once I've emptied the comfrey bucket out I'm gonna make some more comfrey juice which is a uh, full of vitamins and potassium which make the tomatoes grow. I actually just found a, a nice little nice little lot of tomatoes there. That's quite good. It's hard to see when they're green. Some more there. Yep. The pear tree, a couple of little pears on the pear tree. Not done too well but there's a few. And all the uh, cherries are all gone now. Um, what about the red currants and the black currants? Yeah some black currants here. Black currants and red currants, and uh, I think that's pretty much it. Just to finish on a little close up of the blueberry that's ready. There we go. Hope you enjoy.